Hi, my name is Derek Nehrenberg for Juicy Trails and I am shooting this video to show you guys how to follow a course on a Garmin Edge 800 unit. So, let's go. Alright, so I've already powered this unit up and after it finds the satellites it's going to give you a screen that looks like this. And if you have any time and distance data recorded on the unit, you're going to want to reset it and clear that data out. So we're going to press and hold this lap reset button for four seconds to do that. And we're going to go menu, courses, and I put, uh, I generally put courses on the SD chip. So this is a course on the SD chip and it's the S Mountain six mile course. And it's critical that you get a preview screen, screen like this. If you do not get a preview screen uh, and instead get a blue screen, something is wrong with your course. Uh, so it's imperative that you get this a preview of your course that looks like this. So we have it. So we're going to go. And then uh, it's going to ask you, uh, navigate to the beginning of the course? Sure, why not? And I'll show you in a minute. Um, what happens when you use the other option. So, all right, so here's our turn by turn directions to the course. And so we're gonna follow these and I'll see you at the beginning of the course. Okay, so we've made it to near the start of the course. And when you get near to the start of the course, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Uh, it'll say, you are near the beginning of the course. Would you like to start? Simply press yes. All right, so just a, one thing to point out here is that uh, by default, uh, your training partner will start the course when you press start. Um, we can turn him off, but I usually don't. And so this is our current location, uh, this white triangle, and the purple line is the course that we want to follow. And I generally zoom in at about 200 feet. Okay, so let's start the course. Oh, one more thing to point out is that, uh, you know, you might switch over to this screen and use it occasionally. Um, and we can see that we're already 43 seconds into the start of this course, so let's go. All right, so what we have here is a right turn indicator to go to front side. And so what that is, that's actually a course point warning. Um, and the reason that appears is because, uh, you know, on courses that overlap on themselves, you come to points like this, where the course appears to go either left or right. So here's our current location right here, this white triangle. The purple line is our course. It goes right or left. So that course point indicator uh, came on to tell, let us know that at this point right here, we turn right. And that's, if we zoom out, we should be able to, there he is. There's our training partner, and indeed he's heading off to the right. So that's where we're gonna go. All right. Time for route navigation, or I guess I should say course navigation 101. We're at this trail juncture. We're on front side. And the question is, do we continue on front side or do we, which is that trail right there, or do we turn onto burn pile, which goes left down that way? Um, so, well, let's just look here at our GPS and see what it tells us. I'm going to toggle in, zoom in on this, and according, this is our current location, the cyan line is where we traveled, uh, the purple line is where we want to go, so it looks like right here we want to go straight, yeah, and then if we want, we can see that this trail to the left indeed is burn pile, and we can also have this little tack right here uh, for times when uh, a path or a track is not labeled and pinpoint it onto the track or trail and see that indeed it is burn pile. So 
we're doing good. Let's continue riding up. Oh, what's this? An off course warning. Let's see if we can figure out why. All right, so let's just toggle in here a little bit. All right, we can see our course. Once again, it's the purple line. Our current track is the cyan line. And it looks like, for the most part, the cyan line is roughly following the purple line. And, uh, but we've gotten off the purple line to, the, to such an extent at this point that we're getting an off course warning. So, um, let's zoom out and see where this course is heading. It looks like it's heading up Prospector to a junction with uh, Uncle Nasdy. Alright, so looks like the trail is supposed to go up that way and I would guess that Prospector has been rerouted since this course was made. Um, so this is actually a good illustration of what to do when you get a, a off course warning. Um, trails are often rerouted uh, so that's one thing you want to check and certainly uh, it could be the case that you truly are off course so but I guess the point here being that uh, you know you can use the map uh, to check and see uh, which of the explanations makes most sense it looks like here what we're doing is we're going up a rerouted version of Prospector all right all right we are almost done with our course and I just wanted to take this opportunity for a little little more uh, course navigation 101 all right let's say you're getting near the end of your ride you're tired and you want to figure out how much distance is left in your ride um, so what we do here is we just go to our map and uh, we can toggle this off and zoom out and what we're looking for is the remaining purple track left we can see there's our training partner he's almost done and then we can just use a tack which we get just by pressing the screen once and uh, I, I tacked it onto that to the end of the purple line and we see that as the bird or crow flies I guess they say we have 0.67 miles left um, so not too much left and there on the map we see downtown Salida and in this case we can see downtown Salida from right here um, so that's it we're almost done and uh, I guess I'll see you next when I'm finished with this course for some concluding remarks all right we're all done just want to point out that when you get done with your course stop it and then check out what you did we'll just scroll on over see that ride took with the video shooting a little over an hour almost seven miles and then when you're done reset it so you'll be ready for next time that's it Juicy trails. It's a lot of Colorado today. Sure is nice.